Welcome back to Hannity. So three weeks after her draw Muhammad event in Garland, Texas, was attacked by radical Islamist Pam Geller. Well, she's back on taking on free speech. This time, Geller's trying to get posters showing the winning cartoon of the Prophet Muhammad from her Texas event displayed on the side of city buses in Washington, D.C. Joining us now, Fox News contributor Juan Williams, author, columnist Pam Geller. I, I, uh, free speech is still allowed in America, right? I don't know, not according to the media. Is there, is there any law prohibiting any political speech on buses well, in D.C.? No, there is not. Uh, the fact is the political, cultural, and academic elites are censoring this cartoon. And we're running this cartoon, the winning cartoon in our right. Muhammad art exhibit, by a former Muslim, Bash Forston, to show the American people what is being kept from them, what is being censored by the media. No one elected the media or the academia, our proxy to relinquish our freedom of speech. Juan, why would you be against it? Well, nobody is saying that you can't see this ad or cartoon or anything if you want to see it, Sean. I think Ms. Geller is doing it intentionally to provoke a controversy. Uh, you know, I think that's what happened down in Texas. I is think it, that's is what it to she's provoke a, contra a controversy or to make a point that you, you're allowed to speak out about that freedom and a religion you, that, that she believes? Sean, Sean, you... Sean, at, you said at the introduction to this segment, there's no ban on it in the, by the authorities here in Washington, D.C. or in New York where Ms. Geller has done it before. Well, no, 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 no. She did have a ban. She had to fight in court. I have, I have fought she and won. She went in court and won. I have fought and caught in one, And it is fierce bullies like Juan Williams who want to impose the Sharia. This is the Sharia, Juan. Yeah. Where are you going to stop? Are you going to stop drinking beer? Are you going to stop girls from wearing short skirts? At what point? I mean, where is the line going to be drawn? And frankly, talk about offensive. You saying you wouldn't get on an airplane with Muslims Muslims wearing Islamic guard, garb, that's offensive to me. I would never say such a thing. And for you to try and recover on my back <laughs> is reprehensible. Oh, well, Juan, did you is say that? So did, you, did you say that? Yeah, you I wouldn't said, get on I plane? Said I, I did not say. I said, they, I said when I see, this is what got me fired from NPR, Sean. That's if right. you recall, oh, I said right. that I when I see people uh, dressed in Muslim garb as I'm getting on a plane, it causes me some degree of fright, uh, concern. So. That was taken as offensive. And, Ms. Gale, this has nothing to do with that. I'm, I'm a huge free speech advocate. What I see you doing, I think, is trying to provoke unnecessarily controversy and, at times, offending and demeaning Muslims who regard your actions as not only provocative but offensive. Right, quick reaction. Go ahead. Muslims that support free speech will not be offended. Muslims that want to impose the Sharia will be offended. And, frankly, your uh, offensive remarks are far more uh, you know, humiliating to Muslims than my running ads uh, for, uh, about a cartoon that the media refuses to run. That's why I'm running this ad. It's not to be provocative. I did not make the cartoons a flashpoint. The jihadis made the cartoons a flashpoint. Right. And if we give, it, give up on this point, what is next? We've got to take a break. We're coming up.